Hi everyone, it's Krista Nutter, lead faculty with Interior Design, and I wanted to quickly walk you through how to use Screencast to record video and upload it into the classroom. So here I have an elevation on my screen that I want to um, use as an example to post to a student. So I have that open, and you see I have a Screencast icon pinned to my taskbar right here. So I'm going to click that, and then the, the Screencast software is going to launch. And I'm going to click Launch the Free Recorder. And you can see that I have a dotted line around my screen. So it's going to record everything on my screen. If I wanted to resize that and only record a portion of my screen, I can resize it just like that. Not a problem. So I'm going to go ahead and just record my entire screen. Um, what I would do then is just go ahead and click this red Record button at the bottom. And then I would record my video. Now, I already have a video saved that I used um, and already published. So that's um, the one that I'm going to use. But basically, after you, re you record the video, you get a countdown. And then you can start recording your video like this. And then you would click the pause button. And then you can click done over here at the end. And then you'll get the editing window. You can trim the beginning and the end, and then you want to click Save Video File. You're not going to save it or upload it to the Screencast-O-Matic servers, but what you're going to do is you're going to save the file to your own computer and then upload it into the classroom. So when you click Save File, you get this menu over here, and you can see that it's going to be saved as an MP4, which is perfect for the classroom, and then you have the file name here, which you can click on and rename. I've already named mine with the student's name, and um, feedback, so we'll look for that in a minute, and I've saved it to my desktop. So then you just click Publish, and it'll go through a few minutes of um, formatting and publishing. So we're going to skip that step, actually, and I'm going to cancel out of this, and let's see here. I can close my screencast window. I'm going to delete that recording because I already have one. So now I'm going to go to the classroom, and let's see here. So here I am in the classroom, and this is some feedback for Hillary. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to insert stuff from my computer. And I'm going to browse for the file that I just created for Hillary's feedback. And I actually called it Hillary Feedback. And that's the video, the MP4 file that I recorded. Then I'm going to click Upload. And again, this is in the Brightspace classroom. And the only other thing that I want to do here is I'm going to say Hillary's Elevation Feedback. I'm just going to give it a title. And then I'm going to use the width of 700 because that makes it a nice size for the students to be able to see it in line in the classroom discussion thread. They can also click uh, an enlargement window that makes it full screen. But this 700 size is a good size so that they can see it as they're scrolling through the classroom. And then I'm going to click Insert. And you can see here that we have this video right there in my reply. And I have some text that says, here's a great example of a kitchen elevation. And then I can type some more text below that if I want to. But then I would just simply post that reply. And you can see that when you're in the classroom and you're scrolling through, I have some other videos up at the top as well. But you can see how this posts right there in the classroom, and I can hit play. So that was the video that I recorded and posted to the classroom. So that's basically it. It's really easy. You just use Screencast to record the video, save it to your computer, and then upload it to the classroom. Once it's uploaded and it's here in Brightspace, you can then go back to your computer and delete it. That way you don't overwhelm your, your hard drive of your own computer, and you don't have to um, you know, fill up your cloud storage, whether it's through Screencast or Dropbox or whatever, or Google Drive. You'll have plenty of space because our classrooms and Brightspace have unlimited storage for us. So once it's posted in the classroom and it's a permanent record of the class, you're good to go. You can delete it off your computer. Okay? Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, guys.